Hello everyone, and welcome to this video in regards to understanding video compression. I am making this video because I had someone ask me when they went to my website and downloaded one of my videos, which was in a .avi format, why Windows Media Player wouldn't play it for them when it seems to play all the other videos, and only the audio came up. Which brings me to explain to you and everyone else why certain videos will play for you and others will not, even though they have the same extension, which is like .avi, .mov, etc. Alright, well, to start off, if you're watching this video now, which you are, then you saw my new intro, which was created using Adobe After Effects, a pretty cool program, which is an awesome program, which is also why my desktop is very cluttered at the moment. But it also leads me to have a perfect time to do this, because right here, you'll see, I have two versions of the video. And it seems that when you really break it down, there are three factors that go into video quality. One of which is the resolution, one of them is the bit rate, and the other is the compression type. So all three of those go into video quality. So for example, we'll use YouTube videos as my first example. When you're watching a YouTube video, any video you upload to YouTube, they put through their own compression, which is a .flv compression, which is flash video format by Adobe. It's a great compression for web video because if you can compress it really small and keep it at a small size, small enough that you can watch it streaming from the internet without locking up on a slow connection. And that works for a lot of people, but that FOV format is not recognized by most players. So the most common formats on any type of computer is like .avi and with also .mov and .mpeg4, or mp4 being very common on Macs. We're gonna, I'm going to try to explain what .avi is. That AVI is a format, I believe, developed by Microsoft, and it was used for video for Windows. It stands for Audio Video Interleave, or Interleave. Unfortunately, what most people don't understand is that that AVI is called a container file. That means that that AVI itself is not actually the type of compression used. It is just a container that contains different compressions. So, for instance, this is an uncompressed .avi video, and it's not going to do it for me right now, but this is about 500 megabytes, and this one right here is about 7 megabytes. It's the exact same video, and they're both in .avi format, and they're both 800 by 600 resolution, and yet when you watch them, they look almost identical to each other. Now, with a really good video file, you'll be able to tell the difference, but for the most part, it doesn't matter. But the key is, this video right here is almost a hundredth of the size of the one underneath it, and that's due to compression. And the compression used for this is called XVID, which is DivX spelled backwards, if you know what that is. It's like kind of a free version of DivX. It's a really good compression. And the problem is that all the videos that I make, I use Camtasia Studio 5, and they have an XVID compression built into it. So all the videos that you can download off my website are in .avi format using the XVID compression. So you need a player that will actually play, or that knows how to decode XVID compression, even though it says .avi. And so if you watch my other video about watching videos in any format, then that's one really good way to play it. The other solution is just go to the internet and try to find an AVI player. A really good one is VLC Media Player. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I hope that clears some things up.
Remember to watch this video and all my other videos in high quality. Please visit my website, www.evideohow.com.